So loan moves can either be seen as an important part of a player's development or a temporary fix to a permanent situation. Anthony Martial's loan move to Sevilla could be seen as the latter. The player obviously wants to move away from Manchester United, but in January it can be hard to get a maximum amount of money for a player who does want to leave. So by sending him on loan to Sevilla for six months, Manchester United are hoping that this increase in game time will lead to Martial's value increasing, giving them a more valuable asset to then sell for a higher fee in the summer. However, Ahmad Diallo's loan move to Rangers is much more for his own development, but that doesn't necessarily mean it will be a success. But before I go any further, for cheap good quality football jerseys, retro jerseys and tracksuits, go over to www.jerseyfever.com. I myself have bought a number of different jerseys from Jersey Fever, including this 2003-2004 Manchester United shirt with Ronaldo on the back, and this one's probably my favourite. So if you want a shirt like this, be sure to click the link in the description below and use code AlantisFootball with a space to get 5 percent off. Gabriel Barbosa, nicknamed Gabigo, was signed by Inter Milan in 2016 from Santos for 29.5 million euros. And after a tough start to life in Italy, he was loaned to Benfica in August 2017. Barbosa played just 165 minutes before ending his loan in Lisbon in January 2018, a loan move that didn't work out as planned. However, other loan moves like Romelu Lukaku's season-long loan at West Brom in 2012-2013 is an example of how a loan can be a catalyst for a player's career. See, Lukaku had joined West Brom a year after joining Chelsea the summer before from Anderlecht in a £15 million deal. At Chelsea the season before, he had featured in just eight league games, which is a similar sort of situation to the one that Diallo found himself in at Manchester United. But at West Brom, under the management of Steve Clark, Lukaku would go on to score 17 goals in 35 games, including a hat-trick against Manchester United in Sir Alex Ferguson's last game. This would be the season that kick-started Lukaku's career, and he was sent out on loan the next season to Everton for 2013-14, and then signed permanently by the Toffees for £28 million in the summer of 2014, where he would go on to become one of the best strikers in the league. The reason Lukaku thrived was because he was a key part of the team, which not only brought him game time, but allowed Steve Clark to make him the focal point of the system. Ahmad Diallo could definitely benefit from this same sort of thing at Rangers. This is because just going into the Scottish League, Diallo is already one of the best and most well-known players, and so he'll instantly be treated as a key player rather than just as a promising youngster as he would at Manchester United. This aspect of a loan move is crucial for young players, as by having this sort of pressure and expectation on their shoulders, which is still significant despite being in a lesser league, this will allow the player to transition smoothly from youth football to senior football in a much more natural way than they otherwise would be able to if they went straight from their Premier League sides under 23s into the first team. Or even if they were loaned out to another Premier League club where they weren't able to be a key player. Diallo scored in his debut for Rangers with the first goal in a 3-3 draw against Ross County. He started from the right side of a front three, looking very good, being able to move inside onto his left foot from that right side, and it was from a shot from this sort of position where Rangers would score their second goal. Giovanni Van Bronckhorst is a tactically astute who has a history of developing young players, with players like Tony Valhena, Rick Karsdorp and Terence Congolo all coming through during his time at Feyenoord. And so this is definitely the type of profile you would want from a manager of a side who is receiving one of your promising young players. And overall, I like loan moves to either Rangers or Celtic for young Premier League players as they get to learn how to deal with the pressure of being at a massive club with a huge fan base, but still in a league where they're able to be guaranteed starters, and one that is very similar in style to the Championship in League One. And so you get all the benefits of a loan move to a Championship club, plus the benefits of them staying at a much bigger parent club. And so I think this is the perfect loan move for Diallo at this point in his career.